Hey y'all, welcome to Homestead Budgets. My name is Heather and today I'm going to be doing my cash stuffing for the third week of April. I'll be stuffing a total of 600 and, um, sorry I didn't have the right page, $615 today. If this is your first time here, I just wanted to say welcome. I kind of specialize in variable income over here on this channel and show you how I budget that into my cash envelopes. I do both regular cash stuffings that come from one of my businesses and then I do farmer's market cash stuffings that is for my micro bakery. I am fully self-employed so I don't have a regular paycheck from a company that I work for or anything like that. So you kind of see that variable nature over here a lot. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would love if you would subscribe and stick around. We're going to go ahead and get this cash all set up for today. So we've got 100, 50, 250, so 270, 290, 310, 30, 50, 70, 90, 410, 30, 50, 70. So 480, 90, 500, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 555, 65, 75, 85, 95. That's 600, 65, 610. And 611, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. <clears throat> so we've got that all set up. I did end up having some coins this week. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, put those away in here. I hope that y'all had a nice weekend. Um, and I did want to say that I know by the time that y'all see this video, um, I, my kind of uploading schedule kind of went out the window last week. So for the second week of April, um, I just, I had two farmer's markets and it was the first time that I had ever done something like that. So it's like I had filmed everything, but just as far as getting it uploaded, so $16.90, I didn't get it uploaded on like the normal days that I um, normally upload. Um, so I just wanted to say sorry about that. I'm going to try to get back to a regular schedule, especially now that the farmer's markets that I'm doing are kind of more... Um, stabilized. They're not so like here and there and I'm not, you know, I'm basically going to have a more reliable schedule from now on. So hopefully um, that won't happen again. But I just wanted to address it because my uploading has just been crazy uh, the past couple of weeks, I feel like. Um, I am going to go ahead and scan my receipts into both Fetch and Receipt Hog. They're both cashback apps for taking a picture of your receipt and uploading it to those particular apps. With Fetch, you end up getting gift cards, and then with Receipt Hog, you can actually just end up getting cash. Um, and then with both of those, you don't have to buy anything specific. You can just literally upload any receipt that you like. So I'll put that info up here. These are, so, are also going to include referral codes, so if you decide to use them, I will get a little bonus, but so will you with signing up versus just signing up on your own. So feel free to use them if you would like. Um, but yeah, with that, we're going to go ahead and get into the cash stuffing. We're going to start off in my everyday binder <clears throat> and groceries is going to get 50. Dining out is going to get $10. So it has 10, 20, 5, 6, and 7. Spending is going to get 25. So spending has 50, 75. And then pets, so this is for our two dogs, um, is going to get 25. So 25 and it has 50 75 so we use that for like their food treats um we take our rottweiler um well we take both dogs but really <clears throat> the doberman doesn't like to swim very much and our rottweiler had two tplo surgeries last summer so we really take 
them to go swimming for her specifically because it's really good like physical therapy for her um but we use that um out of this envelope as well and then self-care is going to get ten dollars and that's all that it has all right and then those are all of the envelopes that i stuff in here i do have two other ones at the back that i don't stuff in my cash stuffing I have my business envelope and my back to the bank envelope and those are basically just to keep cash separate from um, any cash that I'm needing to take to the ATM that is going into my personal account goes into the back to the bank envelope and then if I ever have clients that pay me in cash um, I put that separately in my business envelope because that needs to go into my business checking account so I just like to keep those separate for when I go to the ATM. Moving on to my sinking funds, date night is going to get $10. <clears throat> and it has 20, 30, 45. And uh, I'm going to apologize in advance if I am sniffling a lot or clearing my throat a lot during this video. Um, I don't know if, around, if it's the same around y'all or not, but all of the pollen is dropping off of all of the trees around here. So. Um, that just always messes like with my sin sinuses and everything. So I hope it's not like too distracting or anything. Um, you know, it's normally like this for like maybe a couple of weeks and then, um, we don't have to deal with it anymore, which is nice. Baby fund is going to get $10. So it has 100 in my high yield savings account, 20, 30, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. So one forty in there. Health. So this is for my health insurance premium, and it's going to get fifty dollars. Medical is going to get ten. And I use this just for like any medical bills or co-pays or anything like that. So it has 100 in my high yield savings account, 50 and 60. Clothing is getting skipped. I feel like I might end up taking that envelope out or at least putting it towards the very back for now because honestly, I really don't see myself buying any clothes um, here soon. Um... I recently like went through my closet and everything and I have plenty of enough clothes they fit and everything so um I just don't really see myself buying like new clothes or anything anytime soon um so I might just put that to the back instead of telling y'all each week that I'm skipping it um and then vacation is going to get 25 so it has 20 45 50 Subscriptions is going to get $5. So it has 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Annual bills is also getting 5. So it has 20, 40, 65. And then miscellaneous will be getting $6. So five and six. So it has five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So 26 in miscellaneous. <clears throat> And then that is all for this one. We're going to move into my holiday binder. And we're going to stuff a little bit in every envelope in here today. Uh, 4th of July is going to get $4. So that should be the rest of these. One, two, three, and four. So we've got, actually, I'm going to do something so that way counting these isn't ridiculous in a minute. I'm just going to put some old bills in between these new ones because the new ones just get stuck so often. Alright, so that should make that a little bit easier. 
<clears throat> so we have 25, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 41, and 2. And we're saving a total of 50, so we are about there. Honestly, we'll probably be done with this in a couple of weeks, which is totally fine by me. So, and we're probably just going to use this for um, <clears throat> maybe like if we do like a little cookout or... Um, I didn't color that incorrectly. Each one of these rockets is two. So since I did two, since I did $4, I'm going to color in two of them. Um, but we don't normally like go too crazy for 4th of July. Um, but my husband and I both like to cook and we like to have people over. Um, so we might do like a little cookout or something. Halloween is getting five. So it has 20, 40, 65. <clears throat> and each one of these pumpkins is $5. So we're just going to color in one of those. Black Friday is going to get $20. So it has one 200 in my high yield savings account, 20, 40, 60, 80. So 280 in there. And then each one of these jars is 20. So we will color in a full one for this week. And then Christmas, we'll be getting 30. So 20, 30. So we've got one, two, 300 in my high yield savings account, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 410, 420. It's kind of crazy that that's nearly at $500 and it's what, April? That's nuts. I think I, I feel like last year, um, I like only did 500 for Christmas, um, which was, you know, totally fine. We, um, we did kind of, well, we always kind of do like lots of handmade, um, gifts for Christmas. We don't go like super expensive on Christmas or anything like that. Um, but it's kind of nice that, um, we're almost there and it's only April. Um, and then that's going to be it for this binder. <clears throat> Next is our homestead binder. And in bulk shopping, it's going to get $20. And that's all that it has. Household is going to get 5 And that's all that it has. Home maintenance is also getting 5 so it has 20, 40, 5, 55. And then feed, this is for our pigs, chicken, and quail, is going to get $15 today. So it has 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then electric will be getting 20. So it has 20, 40, 5, 50, 5, 60, 5, 70. Garden is going to get skipped. And then projects is going to get $20. So this is just for anything that we want to do around the house. So it has 50, 70, 80, 95. I'm excited. Once that gets to 100, I think my husband and I are kind of going to like measure things out and see exactly what we need. I don't know exactly how much it's going to cost to do what we want in our hall bath. 
Um, but at least once we get to 100, I would feel like we're hopefully a majority of the way there. Because um, I don't want to do anything like crazy expensive in there. Just something to kind of brighten it up a little bit. Because it's the only room in our house that doesn't have uh, windows. So uh, once we get that up to 100, we'll probably measure and then like go to Home Depot or Lowe's and kind of actually see how much things are going to cost. So we have kind of an end goal on that. Um, and then that is everything in our homesteading binder. Moving on to my business binder. So this just houses some envelopes for both my pet care company and my micro bakery. Starting off in car maintenance, it's going to get $20. Um, I did just get my car worked on last week. So that definitely depleted that. Um, gas is getting 50. And that's what it has for the week. Growth is getting skipped. Cell phone is getting $10. And that's all that it has. Marketing is getting $25. And then supplies is also going to be getting $25. And that is everything in here. So last but not least is going to be my fertility savings. And that's really the only savings thing that I have in my savings binder. And it's going to get that last hundred. So I've got one, two, three thousand, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred dollars. So three thousand, seven hundred dollars for that. Um, I'm really hoping that we get to start soon. I know that I feel like I literally say it every single video at this point, um, but we, with our IVF, it's just a lot of it is like waiting on health insurance to approve things, waiting for, you know, just different processes to get approved. And like, it's all, it kind of feels like it's one of those things that's like everything waits up until the last minute because Hopefully, we're still really, really hoping that we'll be able to start my retrieval cycle. Um, my, like, cycle is supposed to start, I think, sometime next week. Um, so we're really hoping that we'll be able to start that retrieval cycle with that one. And we won't have to wait another month to start. But, like, we don't know because everything hasn't been... We haven't gotten, like, the final approval on everything. Um, so I'll keep you all updated on that. I... I would think I should definitely know by next week's cash stuffing, the regular one, not the farmer's market one that you'll see later this week. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I mean, I don't know. It kind of is what it is at this point. If it gets pushed off, um, we'll have a little bit more time to save, but we would really, we would just really, really like to get this going. Cause I feel like we've been talking about this for like six months now and, uh, um, it just, it, sometimes it feels like it's not going anywhere. Even if like little small things are happening, it's just, we're ready to just do it kind of thing. So hopefully I will have some good news on that for y'all next week. But if you stuck around all the way to the end, I just wanted to say thank you so much. And I hope that y'all have a great week and I will see you later on for this week's farmer's market cash stuffing. Bye y'all.